that level of dedication, you can transfer it to anywhere, right? If you yeah. Able to do that. I mean, I, I think it's also healthy to like take breaks and stuff too. Play other um, games. And, and play other games. Kind of just give yourself a mentality break because Smash can get really. It, it's so competitive too, and it's like I see a lot of people take losses so hard, and it's like, hey, like it's okay. Like this yeah. game is a lot harder than it looks, and um, it it, it, it <clears throat> takes so much time and, and, and knowledge for this game. I feel like. I'm, I'm, I'm still constantly learning learning things, and I've been in the scene for four years now, you know? It's yeah. just like, I'm always learning stuff, and... We're eight months into the game, and honestly, there's still yeah. so much left to there's learn. There's still so much to this game, I feel like we haven't even breached it. Like, like there's like 80 matchups. Yeah. Literally, there's 80 matchups. This is a game with 80 matchups to learn and dissect. And uh, speaking of this matchup, too, we're going to get uh, Razo and Master Mario, the couple uh, duo here, Ma Mario, Peach, what do you think about this matchup? I've seen it. And it's funny of too times. because like they they made uh, both players perspectively. If you guys are wondering back home, um, they both one of them main speech, one of them mains Mario, right? And then of course <laughs> Master Mario yeah. alongside Elegant, they're referred to as the real life Mario brothers. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Of, you know how they, their their perspective looks here. For Razo, his history kind of goes all the way back. His history kind of goes all the way back um, to Smash Four, right? When he was at one point, you know, one of the best Peach mains out there. Alongside, you know, with Slay players like Slayers and another player like Samsora. For him to come out to Ultimate, you know, he hasn't been able to keep up that level of torch that we were used to seeing in Smash 4. Yeah. Razo hasn't really traveled as much as people would have liked to have seen him. But he's still out here in SoCal representing the character as best as he can. And mm -hmm. honestly, still putting in work as he did back in Smash 4. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, I've been watching. I was actually just talking to Razo today and I'm telling him, I remember how him and K9 were so back to back and as competitors, it was crazy. It was crazy watching the two. They were so explosive. And, and now it's just like Razo's definitely been um, on the grind. I think he was ranked uh, PR first or second last in the, season, in, the, in, the, in the Empire, yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. Number one in his region, and I believe he's top 10 in SoCal VR. But Master Mario looking to make sure that he's going to climb up a few ranks because he's definitely putting in the battle against Razo. Yeah. I mean, what do you what do you feel about like this matchup in general, too? Honestly, because I feel like Peach wins. Slightly. Right, because she's able to avoid the ground game. She's avo able to avoid getting grabbed. She mm -hmm. has turned up the condition Mario to hold shield, right? Yeah. One of the one of the shortcomings of Peach is that she has she struggles to approach. For Mario, he has to get a grab and take Peach to the air, but for Peach, she has to understand as long as I'm not in the ground and I'm getting all these hits first, I'm gonna be the one winning most of the game here. Yeah, definitely. And that works with any other character, but Peach specifically, you look at her toolkit. Right, able to use floats, able to pull up turn up, able to go ahead and get uh, these flow cancels. Her frame data too, her she's frame so data, fast. Yeah. The combos that she has. The super, damage, the yeah, knockback. Damage outputs. And, and the RNG that she has too is always so interesting to see what she's gonna pull out. Stitch face, dot eye, bomb, Saturn. Saturn, yeah. Yeah, she's definitely still uh, you know, a character I still enjoy watching. And um, I don't know, I feel like it is harder for Mario, but at the same time, Mario does have his smash attacks. Uh, as well, because his smash attacks come out super fast, and I feel like, especially when Peaches like to float above you or, or jump into stuff, um, his oh, smash, smash attacks are pretty, yeah, they're pretty safe to throw out. I oh, smash anti air, back air for a good whiff punish, or even an approach tool, fireball to condition your opponent to hold Exactly. Shield. These are all things Mario can do against Peach. And the one thing that Peach is able to avoid is actually Fireball. That's why we haven't seen Master Mario use Fireball on the stage. He's only been using it on the ground. Or when uh, Peach is off stage, yeah. yeah. Off stage. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and <clears throat> that's also nice too re to recover uh, when he was on the utilizing the platform there, and um, he, you know, Razo oh. knew that he was like uh, underneath him, right? So throwing out the fireball in that situation was and actually even really then, smart. like you said, right? Razo knew, Razo knew that Mar Master Mario was going to go for the roll get up, gets the backer, and kind of puts the stocks yeah. more in his favor. Oh, that smash attack, too. That's what I'm saying. It kind of just sneaks up on you when he throws it out super quick. And um, yeah, if Razo would have rolled or just slightly moved, adjusted uh, spacing there, it would have been a stock. All Razo, right. I like that. Razo take his time to get back on center stage and get back control. Gets a down throw to the back air. You really put Master Mario to the other side. At this point, Razo has so much control that he's kind of with punishing Master Mario. Look at how he's trying to make the approach. And, yeah. and Razo instead finds the punish instead. I like how Master's also utilizing the cape, though, to like kind of stop his uh, oh. speed, the momentum. Wow, that was overkill. That I was Z-drop, turn up to, <laughs> to fair there. That was a little... Whew. You can't blame Razo, though. You kind of have to send Master Mario a message like, all right, man, hold the phone, be humble. Like, he knew he was dead, though. Yeah, he, he knew, he knew. Go for the style.
But at that point, that's doing damage to your opponent's mental game, right? Like, your opponent's like, okay, yeah, I lost yeah, my yeah. stock. And then you get hit by a confirm like that. Like, hold the phone, man. I thought I was already dead. That was unnecessary. Yeah, a little uh, extra. But at the same time, like, you know, if you're rocking Peach, too, using her, uh, might as well. You kind of have to be extra with Peach. Yeah. She's definitely one of those characters that you can say, man. You can, you can kiss the ring, but you can never touch the crown. Yeah, she's so stylish. Like, she just... She goes hard in this game for sure. But going into game two, gonna start on uh, Smashville here. Let's see how this I'll, countered up. And you can see how that neutral was being played between Razo and Master Mario, right? He was looking to see if he can get a whip punish and see Master Mario's approach. We saw a little bit of more fireball action this, this early start around here, but now it's gonna transition to Master Mario looking for an opportunity to force Razo more into him and then punish him for going for an option. Yeah, and, and as well, Master Mario is such an aggressive player. Especially, uh, you know, as a Mario man, usually Mario man is pretty aggressive. So it's like when you're always going, uh, oh my god, the fair almost connected there. When you're going, uh, you know, against like a floaty character like Peach especially too, uh, she kind of just like hops over a lot of his stuff. And uh, her aerial movement is just so good and her speed. It's just the matchup in general, like just seeing these two characters go at it, it just, you have to be really precise with what you're throwing out or it's not going to connect. <laughs> Speak of the devil, right? Master Mario had to be really precise there and that allowed Razo to go for the parry and go for the punish immediately afterward, turning things more into his favor. I mm. mean, Aristale, you said it right, precision kind of matters here and for, for yeah. Master Mario, that one parry was the one precision that he should have been looking for. Yeah, or even if he just held it a little bit longer. Oh, okay, yeah, well there we go, just throw it out again. <laughs> Definitely uh, Third safe time's to throw the out. <laughs> Definitely. And I'm going to get that grab early percent. I like this. Master actually. Woo! Okay. Oh, you can see it on Master Mario's face. That was his <laughs> Yo, combo. He looks so mad. That was his combo, and Razzle just stole it out, out of his He just narrowed hands. out of it. Yeah, yeah. He just kind of like. I don't know if it was a DI, like him DIing out of it, or if it was just safe for oh. Peach to throw out. Oh my god, the tech though. I and I like the fact that Razo know I have to DI in towards the stage yeah. so I can get the tech and still survive and not get spiked on the stage. Flow cancel Nairs here, misses the up B, but he missed nice. the punish. I mean, I actually, Master kind of switched up like how you know he had DI'd inward, so that way it kind of crossed up uh, Razo there. Definitely did not expect that. He just went for the F smash, threw it out. Went for all the marbles there, but still in a really good situation. And Nair actually going to take it at the ledge there. Wow. I mean, when you talk about how Master Mario was playing with confidence earlier, really Raza looking to show that confidence down. But Master Mario still in the game, gets the forest smash, adjusts his seat, man. He's not looking to go home and go a little early. They're not, home, they're not gonna get sent to losers, actually. That's the thing he's not looking for, right? He wants to make sure he stays on the winner's side as much as possible. Because today's MSM is mighty stacked. Yeah, this is a very stacked event uh, tonight. And I feel like every week it's, you know, constantly seeing a lot of great players come out. And this is great practice. Coming out to this event um, and playing players like this every week, it's really important. Yeah, you know what they say, right? Some of the finest players only get stronger by finding the finest players exactly. like themselves. And Razo definitely a player of that caliber. Look in a condition, Master Mario to not only be aware for going for the high recovery, but be aware for the low recovery as well, because that turn up was there for a reason. He finds this up right here, and he's looking Ooh. to take it to the skies. All right. Gonna use Flood, see if he can get anything. Oh, oh, that was so nice with the back trail into F Smash there. I like the spacing, and I like... Um, I like that he threw that out. That's really nice. It's kind of recognizing uh, the get-up options that Razo's uh, opting for. He kind of, you kind of let Razo feel it was safe, man. Like he told him, like, you know, mm -hmm. can steal my combo, but you can't steal my edge guard anymore. Or a lot of players like to like neutral get up, and then they end up rolling because they think they're safe, and then yeah. a lot of character uh, players end up being like, all right, like I'm catching you do that. Now I know you're gonna roll. Uh, and yeah, he just went for that F smash and ended up working because he knew that was what Raza was going for a lot. And uh, Peaches actually do uh, like to roll a lot at the ledge as well. So great call out from Masta. And here we go back to Smashville. Game three, guys. Here we go. Winner's quarters. Wow. OK, here we are. Yeah, this is only a game. Best of best of three, honestly. You know, best of five is the winner of semis, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. So this is literally the next stop. One player is going to be sent to losers. The other carries on to the winner's side. And like I said earlier, right, Master Mario played with a lot of confidence, but Raza wants to shut that down. It's kind of a push and pull of both the players' abilities to fight each other. Wow, just right out of the F Smash range there, ended up getting the down tilt into Nair, I believe. Mm -hmm. That was also beautiful coming out from Raza. 
And um, yeah, it, it looks so hard there when he, uh, Razo kind of has Master Mario cornered at the ledge there and he'll just jump Oof. down there and then uh, throw out fair as well. Really, it kind of, she builds like this wall yeah. against him. And, uh, and that's kind of what she wants, yeah. right? She wants to make sure she has a wall against Mario to stop Mario from going for those approaches that he's usually known for. As that, if that wall's up, Mario will start suffering here. She throws in the turn up here and looking to see if, how Master Mario's gonna get the recovery here. Sees the roll get up and make sure the Nair is out there to stop him from that recovery. Ooh, really clean. Getting the last of the up air. Oh, oh no. I respect it because you yeah. know what he was trying to stand for? The fireball follow up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we knew what he was looking for and it wasn't a bad try. And honestly, uh, you know, it's still pretty close. So, I mean, it, it wasn't too risky to throw out. And then, yeah, there we go. Just gonna answer back with the fair. It makes sense because usually from a lot of Mario's, we do see them like to go out of the out of the corner. They like to go ahead and land with a down air and then from the ledge, and then Rosalind immediately stuff that out, understanding okay, he's going for that jump recovery. I need to make sure he's he's not gonna find his way back to the stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Master always really likes to get that uh, those grab combos and then kind of start off with grab. I think down air, I believe he yeah. does down air and then he does like up tilts. Look at these up air tilts right up up, up air, air strings. <laughs> That's actually what it should be called, up air tilt. <laughs> That's what it looks like. His up air is like a uh, like an aerial up tilt <laughs> at this point. Back to uh, compared to Smash Four, right, where up tilt used to combo into itself. Exactly. Now it's up yeah. Pretty much. I like that using that mm -hmm. turn up to cover up that option here. Razo was floating for a reason because he would have gotten the back air or a nair, depending on how Master Mario chose to recover or if he chose to roll. Ooh, okay, nair to grab there. Interesting option, gonna throw him off stage with Fair there. This is an opportunity for Master if he could get this. Nice! Missed nice. the grab. Nice spot dodge to down smash there. And uh, recognizing Razo actually likes to get up uh, with neutral get up a lot. I like that, looking for that spacing, looking for the forward air. At this point, Razo wants to make sure he's not taking percent from the stock. Uh, Razo just so consistently sitting at the ledge here and just oh, dominating. No. That spot dodge kind of cost Master Mario the ability to come back on the stage. Double turn up on the way back down. Wow, you have so much time with the pulling out the stitch face too, but having so much time to throw out two back airs there, it's like, what can you do? And You're it's so pressure limited. on the shield. Oh, he tosses the stitch back up. I don't want it anywhere in my hands. I want to make sure stitch is only on Twitter and not in the game. Woo! But that forward air is not going to be a okay. critical hit, but that oh, forward smash. Doesn't matter. Wow, really nice. I also kind of got sent a little bit around town with that one. Yeah, you, like you were saying, he was DIing in, wanting to recognize he needs to tech that. But didn't even matter. Ended up throwing out F Smash, just kind of going all out at the end there. Doesn't even care that it was uh, overcommitted.